This is Julian and I'm here in New York City and what we're going to crack into here is a segment from a live event that I did here on the topic of self-acceptance. So sit back, enjoy, let's do this. If you want to transform, you must accept who you are right now, all of it, and your life situation right now. Accept it and love it. Everything about you right now. As you're hearing this, you're probably cringing. You're like, oh, fuck no, look at my, my fucking body, how can I accept this shit? Look at my income, how can I accept this shit? Look at my life situation, look at my, my clothes, my life. I can't accept who I am right now. But until you do, it'll keep running you and you will never be free. Because everything you do will be in a reaction to that. Accepting who you are and everything that is you right now doesn't mean settling, it doesn't mean stagnating, it doesn't mean hanging on to it. In reality, it's the only way to let go of it. If you don't accept who you are right now, you're hanging on to it big time. Huge. Think of people who get into a fight. Say you hate your parents, common. You get into a fight with your parents, you're like, fuck my parents, I'm gonna move. You might move across the country, across the world. You're away from your parents, you might not even talk to your parents in years. Physically, you're away from your parents. You've severed the link, correct? But have you? Because I've talked to people, clients of mine, 40, 50 years old, still being run by their parents. And it could be hate, like, oh, but my parents, but my parents. I bring it up, no, fuck my parents, I hate my parents. I'm doing this to prove them wrong, I'm doing this to show them. Okay, they're physically separated, but they're still a psychic link, if you will. They're still acting in reaction to their parents years later. They're not free. Same with who you are here right now. Until you accept everything that is you, you're still gonna be run by that. You'll never let go of it. You'll never transform. You'll never self-actualize. You'll keep hanging on to it. So in reality, you have to accept it to let go of it. Everything, your personality, your life, your looks, everything. And you can test this. Look at yourself in the mirror. Like, kid you not, do this exercise. Super wacky, but do it. Naked in front of the mirror. Don't flex, shitty lighting, full body mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, number one, I love you. How does that feel? You will fucking cringe. I love you. <laughs> It'll feel like you're puking fucking words out of your mouth. I love you. Then pick the part of your body you hate the most. For a lot of guys, it's... <laughs> I love the size of my penis. Try saying that. I love my penis as it is right here, right now. I fully accept and love my penis as it is right here, right now. <laughs> Try saying that. And be honest, like, how that feels. You're probably gonna feel different sensa uh, sensations of resistance. Then move to the next part. I love my stomach as it is right here, right now. I love my life as it is right here, right now. I love my friends and my social situation as it is right here, right now. And keep doing it, and whatever resistance come up, keep letting go of it until you're fully there. Because until you do, trust me, it'll keep fucking running you. Self-acceptance, as cheesy as it sounds, will free you. Everything, right here, right now. If nothing changed, can you be okay with you? And can you love you fully? Every detail. Your nose, your acne, your mouth, your chin, your face, your arms, your hands, any weird fucking quirks, your skin, everything. And trust me, if you're someone here who's like, oh fuck, I hate my body, everyone does. It's not just you. One thing that helps as well is hanging out with weirdos. <laughs> Don't view it as like negatively. It's not weirdos, it's people who embrace say, different traits that are not as uh, socially accepted. I personally hang out with quote unquote nerds all the time. I kid you not. I hang out with, you know, all sorts of people, but I do occasionally hang out with complete nerds. Nerds where you'd see me out with them and you're like, is he teaching I'm gonna meet girls? I'm like, no, they're just friends. And they're so nerdy, like, if you want a funny story, any Star Wars fans? That's it, all right. Sad, well, millennials, you don't even know. <laughs> I grew up watching Star Wars. Um, so my friend, one of my friends, nerdiest guy, 
I actually probably know. Huge Star Wars fan. The biggest fan to the point where he goes to the premieres dressed up as Yoda. <laughs> That's how bad it is. I, I'm not even joking. And uh, Rogue One came out. That was last year. And we were in DC. And he was like filming some of my videos. And he's like, fuck, we got to see Rogue One, man. We got to see it. It came out, um, I think, a Thursday night. And because there was boot camp, we couldn't see it. So Thursday night hits. We were in DC. As soon as like, the first premiere starts, he's like, airplane mode. Takes my phone, airplane mode too. He's like, you're not checking that phone. I don't want any fucking spoilers. I'm like, OK, bro. And I booked us tickets tomorrow at 9.30 for showing. Like, dude, we're out till like 3, 4, 3 AM or so. He's like, 9.30. I'm like, OK. <laughs> so no phones, no social media. Um, 9.30 shows. He wakes me up. I'm like, Ugh. and he's like dressed up as like an imperial trooper with this fucking cap and shit. <laughs> True story. <laughs> my other friend, um, who, who they just met, I'm like, yeah, my friend, he's like uh, from New York. He's there too, and he's like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, we're going, I already got the Uber, we go there. And the whole movie, I've never seen someone more excited in my life. Like, I mean, if I was, it, he was more excited than sex with every girl alive right now. Like, so excited, he was like this on his chair, and the movie starts, he's clapping, um, this is Star Wars, so it's like families and kids and shit. He's like clapping, yelling, screaming, and the end approaches. And if you followed this movie, there's a, a quite epic scene with um, DV, um, Darth, Darth Vader, who shows up at the end. Sorry for the spoilers. And as soon as fucking Darth Vader shows up, I kid you not, he screams high pitched, like, ah, like that, like so loud. And then, not just that, like if that wasn't enough, like me, like, like, more scared of him than the whatever's happening. He then proceeds to yell, fuck, 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 as loud as he can on repeat, kicking the chair in front, like, oh my god, fuck, 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 like kicking, and the kids, mothers, I like covering their ears. <laughs> my other friend, like, I'm leaving, like, fuck this. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it was, it was quite traumatizing for everyone. Um, but that's one of my, my good friends, the, 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 that guy. Um, now, what that does, hanging out with, say, people who are quote unquote weird, is it gives you permission. It's like an outer approach you can use to be perhaps a little bit more weird yourself. You know, if someone can go up to Star Wars and yell, fuck, 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 kick the chair and scream like a fucking girl, and you're like, gotta be cool, like you can perhaps accept a little bit more weird quirks. And guess what, when you can accept and own that and you put that out there, just in terms, like let's just say your motivation is being more attractive. We think that being more attractive is being cool. No, everyone's trying to be cool. What about owning a quirk and putting that out there? You will be fucking amazed because no one does that. And that is actually the sign of true confidence. Every insecure person can put out a part of them where they try to act confident. Only confident people can put out parts where most people would feel insecure about it. So hang out with weirdos. And it's not even weirdos. Hang out with people who embrace their uniqueness. Be one of the weirdos of the world. I'm so fucking weird. You can't, I mean, you probably know, but I'm so weird. So weird. Owen, so weird. Like, people will meet us for the first time. They're like, oh, I love your videos. And they see us in person, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, we do such weird shit. Like, our conversations are weird. It's not even like normal dialogue conversations. Like, I don't know if you've seen Owen videos, it's monologue. So it's like him like Brrr, and I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Brrr, and then I start saying some stuff and it's Owen, so he's just like not even listening really. And I'm like, uh, oh, like spewing some shit. Then it's like, let's go to cryo, where we freeze our bodies. People are like, what the fuck are they doing? Like literally freezing our bodies for two minutes, like Star Wars, like Han Solo shit. Then we're like, let's go to the spa. And like, say you just met me, you're there, like we're going to the spa, it's like in this freezing water and hot, it's the weirdest shit. Like, we are weird, be weird. This front of like being cool is fucking fake. You bought into a lie. The cool people are the weirdest people ever. Own your weirdness. And no matter what you're into, people will fucking love it. And if they don't, find people who do. And that's another beautiful thing with social media in today's world. Yes, a lot of us are very alone, but we are very connected. Use that. Find your tribe. If you feel right now like you're weird and no one accepts you, meet more people. You don't know enough people. 
Because trust me, no matter what you're into, weird shit like squid porn, other people are into squid porn. For real, if you want a fucked up story, a true story, <laughs> I released this in a video before. Some of you might know this story. It started in Seattle, Washington State, Seattle. Um, I told this story in Seattle and some people actually knew the guy or knew of the guy. <laughs> this is a true story, okay? If you think that no one is into what you're into, no matter how weird that shit is, this will prove you wrong. So this guy had a weird fetish. And he owned it. He hung out with other weird people, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to accept everything that I am. Julian was right. I like getting fucked by horses and bulls. Up the ass. Don't judge. Don't judge. Hey, I'm not hurting anyone. <laughs> they like it too. They get to come. <laughs> I just like it, you know? It's like... Human dicks ain't enough. I need to fucking... That's me. So he was into that, and he, uh, he had this like ranch farm, and he would just get fucked by bulls and horses. That was his thing. And I know you're disgusted. It... Hey, we're all animals. Anyways, to top this, I know it's kind of sad. It is kind of sad. But, and he, he thought that too. He's like, you know, this is kind of sad. I guess it'd be more fun if I shared this experience with like-minded people. And he put out an ad on Craigslist where he's like, hey, want to get fucked by animals? And a bunch of them, 12 dudes, go up to this ranch, they all get fucked together. Wow. Uh, it's a true story. And I hope, I mean, I wish there was a happy ending to this. But unfortunately, there isn't. Um, one day, one of them, uh, him, got fucked a little too hard. I don't know why you're laughing. This is the sad part. And it's a real part. Fucked a little too hard, and uh, there was a breach, an internal breach, a rupture, um, inside of his anus. Um, and he had to be rushed to the hospital, and uh, he died. He actually died, and uh, that's how we, you know, people find out about him getting fucked by bulls, because like, what happened? A bull. Like, they, I think they just dropped him off and like drove off, and he was just like, and I, oh, okay. So, this is, a, I'm laughing because I thought of another joke, not this, this is horrible, horrible. Um, which, by the way, if you want a cool joke, do you, do you want to know, um, this is not my joke, but do you want to know why Yoda can't ever get married? Because instead of I do, it's do I? If you're laughing at that, you're a dad joke type of guy. Um, so anyway, he died, talking about yoga, uh, Yoda and fun. And uh, my point with this story <laughs> is that we're all going to die someday. And no, I'm kidding. My point with this story is that if this guy can find 12 dudes get fucked by animals, you can find someone who will love you for you entirely. That's the point. <laughs> I love, I love how people are clapping to the death of this poor soul. But it's true. I mean, if I place like a, like a bet on you, I'm like, hey, what's the higher probability? You finding someone who will like you for your weird shit or you finding 12 people who get fucked by a bull and a horse? <laughs> higher chance. All right. If he can do it, so can you. So he died for the mini. Uh, and trust me, like, you'll find your tribe. Like, even just go on Facebook and search Facebook groups, whatever the fuck you're into, there are so many groups. Meet those people. If you live in a small town, you're like, no one loves squids. Move, move. And that's the other beauty of today, is like, you can move. And we freak out when you hear that. We're like, move. You can literally walk out this room, get in your car, and drive the fuck away. Move wherever the fuck you want. Find your tribe. If we're related, we'll meet. So today I feel like I've, I've, I've met my family and everybody else here has also. It's just amazing that something like this exists, that people can share with each other um, what they feel. Ah! 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 Ah!
the time I felt like it was there was something missing. I really feel like I've just addressed all these problems that have been like sitting inside of me. He's given me and everyone else in the room today tools to really let go of the baggage that you accumulate throughout your life. I've been hanging around with people for two years. I have like a stronger connection to some of you right now than I have with them. Now I'm sure that this is the right path.